All right, Lee Williams is here on this uh, Tuesday morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm excited to see this video because I really didn't get a good look at it first. And we're talking about some viral video today. It's incredibly viral. It shows an Scary, FBI, but <laughs> FBI agent yeah, in Colorado doing pretty much everything wrong with a gun. First, he's in a, in a place where they sell liquor armed. Okay, bad idea. Right. Second of all, no holster. Oh. Yeah. Oh, he picks up the gun. <laughs> puts his finger in the trigger, it goes off, shoots a guy in the leg. The breaking news is that the man who was hit, right. the bar has offered him uh, free drinks forever. Oh my goodness. But That's... yeah, it, to, to analyze it, first of all, don't bring a, don't bring a pistol if you're going to be drinking. Leave, right. it, leave it at home. Yeah, um, for sure. And second, you got to have a holster. If you're going to yeah. carry a gun, he had it shoved down, the, down his back in, in, in his belt. Professionals who carry firearms for a living, which you would think the FBI agent is, carry pistols in a holster. Got to have a holster. And here's the big one: if you, if, and this is for everybody out there: if you're shooting and you drop your pistol, let it go. Right. Don't let it immediately go, go to reach for it. Let it fall. Let it. The the Glock especially has three internal safeties. Uh -huh. You could load it, put a gut, put a round in the chamber, and play hockey with it. It's not going to go bang until the trigger is pulled. So if you drop a gun, a modern semi-auto or revolver, just let it go, pick it up slowly, and keep your finger out of the trigger. Yeah, guard. it must be so hard because your first reaction is oh. to reach for it. Mr. He must have been startled that, like, who knows that it fell out and then the whole thing. But exactly, you know. it's a trained response. You drop something, you try and grab right. it, not with a pistol, not with a pistol. Okay. Just let it fall. Okay. You'll be okay. That. Yeah. Okay. Also. So. I was going to say, we also have like some other video to yes, show us now, Yes, yes. Right? There's huge interest in these new STI pistols. A uh, buddy of mine, my co-host of my podcast, is repping them. He's their ambassador. And today on our podcast, which we're recording on a Tuesday instead of a Thursday, mm -hmm. we have a representative from STI Firearms who's going to be on there. And I announced that yesterday, and I'm deluged. I was deluged with questions. <laughs> a lot of interest in these pistols. Yeah. They're extremely high-end. And they, here you can see Jerry Micklick firing one. Uh, Jerry's wow. damn near a machine gun himself. Uh, there's, there's no recoil. They don't move. And they're wow. expensive, but it is the Ferrari. Uh, a lot of questions. We'll, we will have a representative from STI on our podcast today. And I've already got like five questions for me and 15, 20 questions from <laughs> listeners and readers. Yeah. So tune in for that. Uh, it's at thegunwriter.com. It's just a heck of a gun. And this is what you were, te like you were talking about last week, yeah, right? Yeah, generating the tremendous yeah. interest okay. in that pistol. I will own one. <laughs> And did you mention how much it was? Worth? How much are they? They start around three okay. thousand. But I imagine without the recoil and oh, if you were it's, just. Yeah. It's a Cadillac. I mean, it, it, the competition shooter has been using them forever. Now they're just transitioning into the defensive pistol market. And uh, yeah, there's something. There's right. something. I always love when you bring the video. So yeah. looking for more, forward to possibly more next week. And, you bet. All right. We'll see you then. We'll see Bye -bye. you guys right after the break. Stick around.